rocket science, and brain surgery. Punchlines to jokes because it takes a long time to become part of the elite workforce that can be trusted with such things. Next on Elevate Iowa, students break the mold by rapidly learning a trade that puts them in the same world as nuclear engineers. Welcome to the new Iowa. Elevated past old notions of manufacturing. Where manufacturing is exciting, clean, and a career worth talking about. The Iowa Advanced Manufacturing Grant. Paid for the state's 15 community colleges to focus on manufacturing in new and meaningful ways. And these are their stories. Emerson itself is a corporate headquarters located in St. Louis. We're a part of them. The part of the business that we have within Emerson is in process control. We make control valves, we make on-off valves, we make all the associated electronic equipment for those, all the actuation pieces of equipment, etc. And we also do the service work on that equipment on a global basis. They'll go into power plants, uh, oil refineries, on oil rigs in the North Sea, into chemical plants, into pulp paper plants. So all kinds of uses for people who need to flow liquids or gases. Our biggest challenge here is skilled trades. It's electricians, machinists, welders. Trying to find that is very difficult. So we partner with the local college and we create our own training program to try to bring in the skills that we need. It takes an elite level of trust in your workforce when their work consists of creating valves for dangerous applications like nuclear, chemical, and oil materials. Emerson Fisher teams up with Marshalltown Community College in Iowa to create a rapid training program that would create the workforce that can achieve world-class results. MOTP is a program we partner with Emerson Fisher to uh, train people to come in on the floor and run machine reform, and it's a machine operator training program. Um, it's run through continuing education, and so we work with them to to put students through this program and make them ready to start on the floor at Fisher Control. The importance of the valves that we make within this, this company of ours is just huge. When you're talking about making valves that have to retain pressure in a nuclear plant or have safety factors built into them, that brings with it a lot of responsibility. So with this partnership, it's a seven week program that we started. It's a paid program to entice candidates to come into the program. Uh, they work with partnership with the local school. We have a trainer who's been a manager with us about 40 years. Um, actually, my grandfather worked here and retired and I've kind of been hearing about the classes uh, and then I've heard that there's some young and uh, up and coming people that they're trying to get in these classes so I took the test, passed and then it just kind of went from there and just had to keep passing tests and finally got in here. I run most of the rotary bodies, some b-balls, some discs. Uh, basically, um, like what we have here is I'll run the waterway side, flip apart to the T-flop side and then send it on for it to get the shaft boards and stuff drilled into it and then down the line it'll be an assembly and gone to the customer. This is a MAG BTC 1600, uh, basically a big vertical turning lathe. Um, we turn parts, there's no live tooling, but other than that, we can we can do a lot of stuff on this machine. Well, I teach the CNC part. Uh, we do lathe and mill. Uh, they do a project on each of them after we go through all the codes, you know, the GNM codes, what really drives the machine. Uh, they have to learn that. And then uh, we do a program on each, each uh, lathe or mill. But the program itself uh, prepares them for what Fisher wants. The course was seven weeks long. Uh, you got to learn how to uh, use measuring tools. Uh, you got to learn how to read blueprints. There's a big section on math. Uh, a lot of simple math, uh, algebra and trigonometry. But uh, it, all, it all comes into benefit you once you're out here. Uh, so we also got to do a, a section on uh, machine fundamentals. We got to learn a lot of the machining part of it and the tools that we use in the machining part of it. And towards the end there, we got to do some hands-on, use a use an engine lathe, and then get into the shop and actually get it. Use all the stuff that you use in the class, kind of put it together and. And you gotta see how it all works together in that, in the end there. 
we learn through the MOTP program a lot of you know the general basics and then we get thrown into the plant and we get a trainer and then our trainer is usually the main shifter and they kind of take us under their wing and they show us the ropes and uh, you take a lot of notes and reference them but other than that you know you just kind of got to hang on for the ride and figure it out. <laughs> There's a lot of people who think Manufacturing is still this group of stodgy old sweatshops where you sit in a line and you've got a supervisor behind you watching every move you make and it's not safe and whatever. Well, we know fully that it's not your grandfather's manufacturing anymore. It is high tech. It's got some great jobs that are all you know, middle skills related. They are high tech skills related, engineers, scientists, what have you. And it's, it's got to change so people understand that we've got those kind of jobs right here in Iowa. 